and I'm glad you guys are here. All right, and we're back. Welcome, everybody. We're gonna take care, tackle some new magic in uh, in uh, Photoshop. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I wanna welcome everybody here: Frank, uh, Sean, Julie, uh, Mike, Jazz, the artist, Kevin. So let me know if you guys can hear me, and if I'm coming in loud and clear, that would be great. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's something I'd like to know. So we're gonna be doing uh, some new magic in Photoshop. Uh, thank you so much, Frank. Appreciate that. So let's get this party started, shall we? Let's get this party started. Let's jump in here. Um, yeah, so we're going to deal with um, Firefly and Firefly technology in uh, Photoshop. There we go. All right. Okay, cool. I see a Rhonda, Muriel, and Froja out there on the uh, on YouTube and, and Facebook and everything. Cool. All right, let's do this. So yeah, here I am, uh, Firefly. Um, you know this technology that we've been working on like consistently for a while uh, to create content, and um, you know uh, it's now in Photoshop, right? So we have this sort of text to image. A cute, fluffy, blue ball animal eating a banana in a misty, magical forest. So this same technology, so this is interesting. Thank you so much, Alexander. Uh, let's do pink ball. Running in a misty, magical forest. So text to image, that's what this does. I'm going to take the same thing right here. We're going to see this generated here. And then we're also going to go into Photoshop. We're going to go File New. Create something maybe not that large, maybe 1,000 by 1,000. It should actually return, I think it's 1024 by 1024. But right in here, I'm going to select this area. I'm going to use Generative Fill. And I'm going to type the same thing right in here. Bingo. Generate. And then we're going to compare these two. So there's one, and then here's the other. Our cute, fluffy animals. Well played, Sean. Hey, let go of my, my uh, Photoshop banana tool. All right, so here this is. And this is interesting. So here's the difference. This is interesting. Huh. Okay, so here's what I have in um, Firefly, which is so adorable. And this is what I have in Photoshop. Um, I guess the question I have, at least for the team, is why are they different? <laughs> why, if I could be honest with you, like th this one is not that good. But these are looking fantastic. So I just kind of wonder if it's exactly the same engine that's running in both. So that's the question I have. Thank you, Carol has the same question. So I'm going to say that Carol asked. Carol asked, why are they so different? I was hoping I'd get the same thing. And I'm kind of, oh, Sean's like, big difference. OK, good to know. They do look like cute, fluffy fur balls, right, as well. So there that is, there that little fluffy is. Ooh, look at that one, fascinating. All right. Um, so I could take this same, this one right here, which I think is really cute. And there's now, and you guys got to tell me if you have this, maybe I'm giving, uh, yeah, the seed value is for every generation, but Tim, you have to agree that these look drastically different. Like, these aren't as good, let's be honest. 
I'm just, they're not, they're not quite as good, right? I'll refresh this. Let's see if this round will be better or uh, let's see how the, how, I bet you this is going to be much more consistent. So there we are. I get pretty consistent look. This stuff, I'm kind of like all over the map. So I don't know. I have questions. Try it out for yourself. Um, but it's still fun. Like, look at these adorable creatures, right? Super cute. This one's really cute. Let's hit refresh one more time, and then we'll um, move on, because I want to do some editing with it. Now, for this cute, fluffy pink ball in a... Let's hit generate again. Magical forest. Here we are. Boom. This, this is the winner. Ooh, that one's great. But let's take this, and uh, there's also generative fill. So this is new. We could run it through the content authenticity verification. It will spit out the Firefly version number. That's true. Um, and uh, thank you so much, Tim. Let's enable content credentials. So this is the interesting part. Because we're learning together. Things are moving so fast. That the thing is, I, I don't think I get the, um, I don't know what version of Firefly is running in here, and I, I don't know if there's a way to check. So, let's see, look at this guy. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Let's open up this preview. Um, so, it actually doesn't say anything about what, uh, that I used, that I used generative fill. So, anyways, all right. This is in beta. I like this guy over here, so I think we'll take him, and I'll click right here because I want to do a generative fill. So this is new as well, um, and what I want to do for this one is insert something. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint here and here, and we'll type in uh, black and white swirl striped horns. Striped horns. Generates. It'll do its thing. <sighs> Can we add content for Fire to Firefly for reference? Uh, no. Why are we letting Firefly do the fun part? Because it does it better than I could. <laughs> so, and faster. So there it is. Look, and we have different versions of the horns, which is awesome. Ooh, I like these. So we'll keep that. And now that's ready to go, I can go ahead and download it. Jim says, you've sat down on a mainframe in 1974, and this is the most fascinating you've seen since then. Man, I'd have to agree. I mean, I feel like it's along the lines of the sort of invention of the, of the camera. That's what it feels like to me. Just feels like that powerful. All right, I'll double click and have this open. Here's our lovely little character. First of all, right in here. Yes, I'm going to remove this. And yes, I'm going to use Content Aware Fill. Content Aware Fill does a good job, but there are now other tools. So there we go. Our cute little character. Let's expand this out now. So I'm now going to take the Crop Tool expand out this canvas because we want to make it look like this little character is in a great big forest and we'll move it down like so so first part i'm going to generate i'm going to generate this in in a couple different parts let's generate oops this side part first and we'll just click generative fill and it's going to do its thing uh, yeah, I wasn't around when the first camera was invented. That's hilarious, though. I love it. Look what it did. Generates that. Throws a little pink in there, which is interesting. Generate this side. Film, baby. Film was probably just groundbreaking. So maybe we had photography, film... I, you know what? Probably the um, 
uh, invention of the radio was probably pretty groundbreaking. Um, oh, Barbara, you had an Apple IIe. I wonder what I had. It was something like that. We're talking 80, 80, 88 or so, kind of around there. There we are. So now I have that done. I did this in multiple parts. I even missed a little bit, by the way. I missed a thin area. But I did this in parts because it's always going to return only about a 1024 size. Um, but, you know, you want to clean anything up, it just does a fantastic job. Generative fill. Do your thing. Drink my coffee. I've been drinking a lot more coffee lately since I'm just kind of watching Photoshop do its thing. Oop. Oh, this is this is one thing to keep in mind. Like what layer you're on. I just did this generative layer down here. When I have these other layers on top, so that's not good. I can delete that. Make sure you're on the topmost layer so it's sampling so it's going to blend in everything better. So. Yeah, Phil's been around for a while. Phil's like getting ready to retire. Generative Phil that is. Or con content aware fill, sorry. All right, so there that is. Here's here's my scene. Um, let's just take all these and merge them. Why not? Right. I still have my uh, monster creature, but let's take this. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make this little guy like disappear. So we'll select this area. Generative fill, and we're going to generate a new character. Uh, cute, fluffy. Let's do furry, uh, teal, animal. Uh, with. made of fur and branches. All right, we're going to see what we get. We're going to get a little weird. Um, we've noticed that uh, Firefly in Photoshop might be a little bit different than uh, Firefly in the browser. But this is also why um, we have... That looks so good. So we opened up Firefly for everyone to use. And the reason we kind of had to do that is because s since we put generative fill in Photoshop and you can get Photoshop without waiting, like why are we waiting you making you wait in um, Firefly? But anyways, here's our character. You know, this is our our weird branches character. Ooh, that one's kind of fun too. Right? So our new our new character. We have character one and then character two. Even going <clears throat> based off of that, we'll come in here and we'll just do a generative fill. So we can fill that area. Who's old enough who remembers gremlins? I remember of course I remember gremlins. Pink Mo Mowgli, yeah. Into it. All right, cool. So we have, we kind of have a little bit of a setup. We have uh, these monsters, and what I can do is I can really start to build this out. It's it's just crazy what is possible now, because now I'm thinking, okay, what if I extend the, it out this way, right? So that's what I would extend out, and uh, you can type whatever you want in here. You know, we'll still do a misty magical forest. With mountains and a stream, we'll see what we get. Generative fill is fireflies. 
so that when Firefly, when can it be used for commercial purposes? Yeah, we're still getting that worked out. We're still trying to work it out. Oh, look at this lovely little stream. I like this. Let's actually just take this and continue it. So the answer is I don't know. Oh, I like it. Keep them away from water. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Different land on one side. And on the other side, if we want, we'll just extend this side out a little bit more because I feel like it needs it. There we go. Yeah, we can generate some fireflies in here. So this is that new magic in Photoshop. I'm in the Photoshop beta. Um, and uh, yeah, this is cool. We got our cool little scene going on. And then we have our characters. Let's move them up. There's the little grumpy guy. This is the original. Now let's do, uh, add some more characters and talk about more things. Just cleaning this up a little bit, getting rid of those lines. Um, there that is. So you ready for this? Hey, Tom, Tom Schreiber. What's up, buddy? Good to see ya. I got to see you on t Tuesday, which was so nice. Hopefully, you, hopefully you're doing well today. Magical forest. Since I'm on this magical kick, we can generate more characters. So we'll come in here and we'll select this. Uh, we'll still be on the cute, fluffy, pink lizard. And it's not going to be pink. It is going to be purple. Purple lizard made of fur. Okay, we'll see what we get. Click generate. We could also use, we could still use Firefly to do some of these characters as well. So I'm just kind of going to bounce between these two. <clears throat> oh, Sin, what's up? Uh, Mo says hi. Oh, that's uh, so nice. Then how you doing? Um, yeah, I wish I had something to report to you. Cute fl fluffy pink ball lizard. Purple. Striped purple ball lizard. And what I could do is on a neutral gray background if we want that's what we're generating new characters as it's doing this other stuff oh yeah we're, we're getting weird oh yeah I like that little guy look at how weird he is uh, let's do a cute striped purple lizard on a neutral green background because I know most of the backgrounds green so we're switching that up a little bit let's go back to um, Photoshop and there's our weird lizard look at that guy he looks a little freaky okay there we go this is a good this is a good little character um, oh joining your coffee in it 
your Friday in a coffee shop. Here's mine. Mine is um, ch cherry. Cherry coffee. Um, let's have it like looking up at a weird, majestical, weird, just some weird plant. Um, a dreamlike, surreal plant. Mystical. Something like that. Make sure we're on the topmost layer. Click generate. So now that we have these weird creatures, maybe we want to introduce some like interesting plants. So that's what's happening right now. What's up, T. Wise in the house? <sighs> you love the new vertical addition to the aspect ratio drop down. That's that's a weird. That's there we go. That's that's kind of weird. That's kind of fun. So it's looking just a little bit more interesting overall. Um, let's try this now. We're gonna take this tree and we're gonna see if this we works. We're gonna do generative fill. We're gonna do uh, perp and yellow striped uh, snake wrapped around a tree magical tree everything here is magical so we'll see what happens it's probably not going to put it on this tree but you never know oh you're doing a four shot cortado a cortado funny i like it okay so that's doing its thing let's check our other character okay So here's a case where I might want to use this lizard. So I'm going to download it. And it really just does blow my mind. You know, I have this character now. You know, I have this situation where the, the tail is cut off. This is just so easy these days. I just, it just really blows my mind that I could just like extend that out and, uh, you know, just uh, do a generative fill on it. Nine by 16 aspect ratio in Firefly. Super tall. Oh, that's cool. Um, checking up on comments. Yes, the weirdest and freakiest stuff is like the most fun. Like this is one of my go-tos. I love doing surreal, psychedelic, colorful, twisted animal. Just get some, make it weird. And you know what? You want vertical? We'll do vertical. We'll get these nice tall images. Let's go back over here. Oh, did I not hit generate? You do have at least one button to click. Hopefully you remember to click it. Unlike me. Yeah, T Terry, buddy, have you just been not been able to sleep? I've been so busy. I don't know how you're doing. I hope you're doing okay. I got to see Terry White this week and Jason Levine and everybody. So that was nice. That is an electric background too. What do we want to do with it? Right in here. We now have this uh, contextual menu. Just click remove background, and there we are. Um, let's close these, because we're not going to use those yet. Bring in our lizard. That we could also put on the trail. Let's make it a smart object. Um, maybe this guy kind of needs to be in the water. The 
question is, how can I get a good match on this? So this is where I would take a look at the background. And I'm going to go with this background. And we're just going to do this real fast. We're going to take our lizard. We're integrating it into the scene. We're going to go to filter, neural filters. We're going to see if we get tinted a little bit. And we're going to use harmonization to do that. We're going to select the layer I just named background. There's that background layer. And uh, it looks like it doesn't really tint it that much. But, you know, I can darken it a little bit and go with something like that. There we are. Uh, can generative fill blend two objects into a scene? Yes, it can. I can show you some great examples of that. So here's my lizard. Let's just do that. Zoom in here. Maybe, no. You guys are gonna, might think I'm ridiculous for doing this, but I'm just gonna like, just kind of blend in this edge. So I'm just taking, taking off that, that edge really fast. Shh. Cause that's a little bit of a halo. What I could also do is I could have choked it, but uh, it's gonna choke it everywhere and I really just need to get rid of this halo. Um, choking still might be a good idea. But either way, we just want this nice and soft. But I also want to show you some more things, because since I have this water, it'd be fun to do some reflections. Like, can we do reflections? That's a good question. Can we do a sea monster? Heck yeah. Let's uh, duplicate this lizard. Let's just do that. Let's do... Brush. Let's do some puppet warp. Seriously, like anything is possible now. Ooh. He's coming out of the water. Might need to move this hand. Something like that. So that's what we're going for. Just adjusting him a little bit. And we're gonna put some of his body underwater. Don't worry, he can breathe underwater, he'll be fine. But let's just like take down some of this. And let's give it a hard edge. So I'm using opacity. Opacity um, doesn't build up, but each time you click, it's going to remove about 25% uh, off. So I'm just using this to kind of blend in a little bit, mainly in the water. I want the tail to be in the water, so that's when I'll start painting right there. It starts, you know, building up that transparency. So the other end down there is going to be a little uh, more opaque. And then we throw some white on there and all that stuff. I'm not going to get too carried away with this, right? I should use a different brush, but you guys get the idea. Okay, small enough, we'll be good. There's our little guy. Um, are the texts working on remove background, add shadow? I don't know what the slash add shadow is. And heck yeah, we'll add a skull. Actually, no, I don't know if we can, by the way. Let's, let's try this. Let's talk about some of the things that are, we might have issues with. So we need uh, uh, skeleton buried in the dirt. So let's see if we get flagged for this. Because oh, I got flagged for pelvis. Um, just some random things. And I think when I get into these bones, it just like doesn't want me to create some of this stuff. Oh, it did it. Ooh, spooky skull. All right. Maybe take that, you know, take down the transparency on that too. And um, yeah. Boy, that took a dark turn. 
I don't know if I will. I don't know if I like it. I thought this was like some cute wonderland. And now I'm concerned. Um, so let's say, for instance, we want to add a bunch of flowers. There's a couple different ways we could do that. The best way to do it <coughs> is to <coughs> do it, do a generative fill multiple times. Colorful flowers. And we'll put some there. I should really try to select different parts of this and see how it does. Um, we're really only turn it, returning about a you know thousand square pixel roughly um, area, but you know there's our little flowers. Let's see how it does on this side. Same thing, colorful flowers. We're trying to brighten up the scene. It got a little dark with the skull. Maybe I'll throw the skull in there. Maybe we'll throw some flowers on top of it. You know what I'm definitely going to add is some crystals. Uh, this one, uh, not quite there, buddy. Not quite. Guess what? You're not blurry enough. We could fix that. Little Gaussian blur on those, and that's okay. Uh, let's add a cool. He's looking at that. Over here, we're going to add iridescent crystal I R I D S C E N T crystal. Holographic is a great word, so let's first fix this. I don't know how to spell iridescent. Holographic. How do you spell iridescent, people? I know it doesn't have an A in there right where I have it, but we're going to learn together. I R. Oh, there's notes. Okay, now we learned. We learned something. I had two R's in there for some reason, because that's what I thought it was. Thank you, Tim. So many people so much smarter than me in, in here. Um, so add a wooden door in the middle where the, where the black area is. Oh, a little wooden door. Maybe it's like a mysterious, I don't know, where does the door go? There's a huge crystal. Whew. That's okay. Oh, and let's check back on our um, a snake. So the snake didn't work out too well. If you remember right over here, in fact, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that too soon. I was trying to do a purple and yellow striped snake wrapped around a magical tree. And that's what I got. Boy, is it wrapped around that tree. But it still created kind of like some interesting looks. So we're keeping it. Erodescent, clever, devlin, not... You don't have just a fancy name. You're just clever. All right. Uh, let's put right here, because I think they need to live here. And I know we had a skull here, but let's go ahead and put a little spot right here where one of them lives. So magical. OK, how do I spell magical? And why is it throwing me off on that, too? Yeah, M A M A G I C M A J. No, yeah. M A G. Why is it it's so weird? Okay, somebody riddle me that, by the way. Like, I was spelling it right. Okay, now it seems okay. Uh, F A I R Y house. Um. With lights on. Wood fairy house with lights on. And I want to take that same prompt and do it in here. But first, let's go back to our mystical dreamlike creatures. You know, they all look stretched out. I did the new vertical format, and they're all looking a little, a little stretched out, like they're all on a diet. 
Let's change it. Fluorescent. Okay, so this is fun. Look at these. Look at these, these guys are good times. I'm downloading you, little buddy. You need a home. This is so interesting. So Firefly gets updated a lot. I feel like I'm getting different results than I was like a week ago. Ah, <sighs> so. There's all those weird creatures. Hey, buddy. Uh, here is our house, little fairy house. Boy, that is bright. I'm not liking it. So again, I've, I've realized, I feel like with, with generative fill, I've gotten a promotion to art director. So now I'm just wearing, I'm making all of these, um, <clears throat> you know, decisions. Sort of creative decisions. S small, magical wood. Home. Click generate. All right. Is this in the latest update? So the short of it is this is in the Photoshop beta. So let me show you really fast. <clears throat> right out here under apps. Um, I think Tim, Tim, if you could help me out here, um, it is under beta apps, but I don't know what you have to do to get this to show up. You definitely have to be a creative cloud member. Um, but I don't know, I don't know where the sort of how you submit to be part of the beta program, but it, that's under beta apps. And that's exactly what I'm in. I'm in the Photoshop beta. All right, you're fired. We're going to go smaller. That's the problem. We need to do the same prompt. <clears throat> Just really little. And this time... All right, it should show up automatically. So I guess the beta, it should show up automatically. I guess you don't need to sign up for it. But if it doesn't show up, like, let us know. Maybe you need to restart your Creative Cloud desktop app. There we go, finally got it, folks. We need something small like this. And it was my problem, because this just the size was like already too big. So that's what I'd want to do in here, is just create a couple of them. And let's try this. Let's go big. Let's say small magical old wood village. See what we get. Yeah, Rick. Uh, yeah, I would benefit from the spell checker. There, there were like a on the list. Cool. <clears throat> uh, I want to get into some other stuff too. I want to. I want to kind of deal with reflections and things like that. After this gets done processing. Huh. But you have to admit, this cute character wins. 
Um, oh yeah, where's my other little monster? This little guy. There he is. Drop him in, remove background. Double click on the layer mask that gets created. A little clean up that fur. Like so. And uh, there's a little guy. So we can put him anywhere we want as well. I feel like he should be creeping. Is he? Maybe he's creeping over here. Maybe this is his buddy. Turn in a smart object, puppet warp, all the things. All right. So this is. Um, I'm talking about new magic. This is magic that has been in Photoshop, which I love Puppet Warp. Right, there that is. And then I'd blend it in a little bit more if I had time. But f just for the sake of speed, let's just do that. There you go, buddy. You're fine over there. Let's save it. Save our magical forest and let's open up a file that has uh that's just more complex. Uh maybe something like this. So we have this situation. Or oh, really anything. Let's let's grab a better picture. So give me a second. Wait for it. Let's grab a gorgeous, just a gorgeous set of images right in here. That's looking gorgeous. What do you think? This one's gorgeous. Let's do this one. You ready? So this is this is like a mirror. So let's just try this. Actually, we'll just do a selection. For one, we can do generative fill. We'll just do boat. We're just going to draw marquee selection and type in boat. Uh, encourage people to explore more keywords for generative fill. Yeah. Uh, yeah, before you install the upgrade, it will ask you, by the way, if you um, want to remove your old ver the old version. And there's my boat. But this is all that Photoshop magic right here. Boom boat in there, same angle with a reflection. What are you talking about? This is crazy. There's another boat. What's going on? Help me, help me. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy, isn't it? That's just nuts. Um, so the boat is cool. Let's pan over a little bit more because I'm thinking, hey, what if we put a sea monster right over here since we're dealing with this magical wonderland sea monster generate Let's see what we get here yeah so jim's been dealing with you know betas betas are messy so just get get used to it you know i we, i think we're going to have to remind people a lot of times that this is in be, this is in beta so it's going to change oh look at that weird slug of a thing Ugh. Look at that guy. Nope. I think this is our winner. Still could be blended in more. Let's do that with our brush. And another thing that's you know what? It's taking hints from this boat. That's where it's getting the darks and lights. Um, when really I feel like the darks need to match the background. So here's a case where, you know, you're going to have to know a little bit more about Photoshop to really get this right. Um, I'm going to take curves, clip it to my monster. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hold on the option key and click auto. This is my long-winded way of uh, sort of mapping the dark and light co colors. So my shadows are going to be like not that dark, but like just lighter, like 
not quite that light. You know, like probably like this darker spot right over here. But anyways, let me just play with it. That already looks better. Highlights. Highlights are never white. Uh, shadows are never black. Uh, no. Uh, let's remove background for that guy. So anyways, I just kind of knocked down those blacks. That's all that really happened. And there's our our big sea slug. Like so. All right, cool. Uh, we got that. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, somebody asked about combining images or like blending things together. And I think that's a great idea. Because let's just take two images. Uh, you know, we'll happen to have this one here. And um, let's just say this is all like cut off. And then we'll take a sky from another image. We have this sky, copy it, paste it in here. We'll make this larger. And sky's at the top. So we're just kind of adding some, we're giving it some reference images is kind of how I feel this is, what this is like. Um, we could do this in a couple phases, maybe just one. Let's bring this down. Let's take these two, like so, selecting them, and use generative fill. You don't have to put anything in there. You could just click generate, or you could type in mountains. So I'd try it both ways. But this is the way we just like blend two images together. One thing you do have to, uh, oh yeah, so it looks like it added the uh, mountains. But look, I've, I've basically blended those two images together. Isn't that nice? It just blows my mind. Right up here, you know. Just click generate. Cool. I mean, geez, this stuff blows me away. Special thanks to Peter t today. You have a good weekend. I've been working my butt off lately, by the way, guys. I feel like you guys should know that. I literally slept maybe 30 minutes last night. I don't honestly think I slept at all. Because we are that busy right now. Things are that crazy. But I like this one. This one looks great. What will they do here in the center? Maybe we'll do... Uh, uh, we want to do something weird. Steam, steam, lar gigantic, gigantic, steampunk space ship. Generate. And it will generate. We'll give it a second. I'm down to my last five minutes. There's our huge spaceship. Oh yeah, the steampunk did a lot for it. Look at that. I don't know. I'm constantly blown away. I can't. I can't anymore. I just can't do it anymore. It's like, oh, it's too amazing. It's got the lighting. Guys, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. And from here, I can elaborate a little bit more, but I think it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, that one. Uh, this was the other one I was going to deal with, which I didn't. Sorry about that. But let's go ahead and take this. Let's do our crashed spaceship. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it chrome. So we want chrome should reflect the environment the the lake should reflect the spaceship so there's a lot going on here right we're trying to push it to to its limits and we'll see it 
Oh, yeah. Okay. Here's one. It's totally being reflected in the water. Brilliant. Second one. Ooh, I like how it's dug into the ground. This, it's just, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, third one. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. Notice how it looks like it's reflecting the grass. Um, and reflecting the sky. And then it's being reflected in the water. So, yeah, just... I don't know what to tell you. Let's put our little fur ball over there. Where's our little fur ball? Because this is the one. He he's the one that crashed, right? What's nice is that if I if I go back to anything that was generated in here, I'll have the prompt for it. So here's our cute, fluffy purple lizard. Um. And uh, so I'm stealing that prompt. Just going to change this to ball pink small There's our alien. And the shadow on the grass. Good call, Marsha. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Are we living in the future? I think so. Uh, okay, there it is. It's a sentient ball. <laughs> so this happened. That's okay. We'll just come in here and we can add cute eyes. I don't know what cute eyes look like, but we're going to find out. Generate. This costs us money every time we hit that generate button. It's like a fraction of a cent. So I'm sorry, Shantanu. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. So there we go. Uh, got some weird eyes. Wanted to see what it would do. And it did the thing. This is actually its dad crashed here looking for his son who took off one day. Said, hey, you know what? I want to go out and, um, you know, sort of. Uh, explore the world and meet new and fantastical creatures and uh, make friends with him and all this stuff. Um, so that's what's happening here. Uh, last thing I would do just to kind of tie the whole image together is use my adjustment layers. So brand new to uh, Photoshop within the latest update are adjustment presets. So I can take this and roll over these. I'll roll over the... Um, color pop and I'll just select color pop because I know it's going to look good. I just made all those colors pop and uh, what really color pop is is just vibrance. That's all it is. But it's a great way to learn and I think that's cool. But there we have our characters, um, some other little creatures, this little guy over here and a magical crystal. So isn't that fun? We did it. We did it adventure team. This is the adventure team. We did it, guys. You're a bunch of weirdos, and I love it. So, yeah, have fun. Um, you can post this stuff. Just tell people you did it in Firefly. And, again, just for personal use, not for, uh, you know, commercial use. But uh, definitely for fun use. be awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Terry White's up next. I'm going to stick around for yours, too. How to take advantage of generative AI in Photoshop. Oh, yeah. Um, Terry will probably do this, and I hope he does, is like restoring old photos is something I want to try. So um, I just need to plug in a hard drive, if you can believe it. So anyways, super fun what you can do. And uh, it's really fun when you guys can hang out with us. So uh, thanks for doing that. I'll hopefully get this posted. Um, but, you know, it still needs a lot of work. Um, and uh, just amazing what you can do in Photoshop. Let me see if I have time to open up an older magical forest just as a um, 
reference point because a month ago we did not have this in Photoshop. So I literally had to do all this color correction and stuff. And now it's like, turn it blank. Here we go. Like these are all the characters I created, but I had to do so much color correction to get it to work within the scene. And now you just have the ability to generate in Photoshop. So it's a happy day. And um, yeah, I'm glad I, we can knock something out, you know, really fast and colorful uh, and integrated, which is cool. So Andreas, um, Marsha, Julia, Kevin, Kevin Schneider's in the house. Awesome. So yeah, Afroja. So good to have you guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Stick around with Terry White. I'm going to hang out with him and be creeping in chat. It's going to be a lot of fun, at least for a little bit. And then I got a meeting. But otherwise, appreciate hanging out with you guys. And we will see you all soon. Stick around for Terry White's stream. Thanks, everybody. Bye.